Hello, my name is Xin Xiaojie and I'm a psychotherapist. In today's video, I am going to answer the question, what does the first therapy session look like? Especially how I practice as a counselor. There are three stages of the therapy session. First one is before the therapy. The second is during the therapy session. And then the third stage is after the therapy session. So let's begin. Before the first session begins, besides making the arrangement to book the session, pay for the session, there are two important documents I ask my clients to sign before even we begin the session. One is the intake form. It gives me a general idea of your name, your date of birth, which nationality you are, what language you like to speak in our session. Sometimes we use it bilingually in our session as well. So all those information that can help me to understand who is going to come into the session. The second document is called consent form. It, it is a document that includes information about me as a therapist, my credentials, my education, my experiences. Um, it also includes information on confidentiality. It includes information on boundary setting and all those sorts, 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 sorts of things. And if you have any questions, do feel free to ask before you sign the consent form. I often encourage my clients to send me assessment results if they I've already done some self-assessment using online tools, assessment tools. Um, I also oftentimes just provide um, those assessment tools to my clients because there are so many different kinds of tools out there. And, and uh, as a non-professional, you might not really know which one to use. So the assessment tool that I use oftentimes just takes three to seven minutes and it uh, provides me the information on your mood especially on the depressive mood and on anxious, uh, anxious mood. The second one is during the first session, and this is a big topic. Uh, as you can imagine, there are so many things that can happen in the therapy session, and because everyone is unique, there's no standard therapy session that applies to all. But in general, the therapy session is to make assessment, is for you to know about me and for me to know about you. We form a therapy goal uh, and we decide how often we see each other and um, all sorts of things, which I will make another video of. The third stage is the after session stage, which has two things. One is to get me the feedback. The feedback is important because it helps me to understand how the session worked for you. The form that I usually send out to you takes about five minutes-ish. It provides information on your own experience about therapy. It gives me information of how I tailor the speed that makes you feel most comfortable. Do I lead more? Do I lead less? Do you want to talk about your past or your future more? Or do you really just look want to have a more of a focus on the solution to um, solve the uh, current uh, issues and challenges you're encountering? The second thing is homework. So normally my clients see me once every week. It's only 15 minutes for someone who really want to grow and enhance the skill sets. Homework helps people to keep practicing because in therapy, a lot of times we are developing resilience, emotional resilience, and you will be learned about tools, how to manage your emotions. You also sometimes have aha moment where bring your awareness to a certain pattern of your interaction with other people. So the, the homework is an extension of the therapy that you've already learned and gained um, and then we try to practice that the, the rest of the week. Although not everyone likes homework. Um, so if you are one of those who just want to talk and I don't want homework at all, that is okay. So that's about how the first session would look like. 
Although if you just encounter this video and you wonder, would it look like the same with the other therapist? The answer is no. Every therapist is different. So other therapists may not want to do the assessment. They practice a different modality and maybe they themselves don't like the uh, idea of giving their clients homework um, or the collect feedback in a different way. Um, so it might vary from person to person. In my next video, I will talk about the uh, main course of this video. Um, it is during the first therapy session. What would happen when you talk with the with a psychotherapy therapist, um, with a counselor? So stay tuned, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.